Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management Channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about DWAC, also known as Digital World Acquisition, aka the Trump social, uh, the, the the free speech platform. And, and we're going to be breaking down, should you buy, should you sell, kind of what's going on with it, why is there a lot of volatility with it, and how you guys can make a ton of money off it. So hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have any questions concerns ask them down below so for those of you that kind of don't know what has been going on well digital world acquisition also known as dwac as i'm going to pretty much be calling it they partnered with trump media to create a social media platform called truth and Trump's idea behind it is, hey, he said, I have 80 million people that voted for me, even if half of them, so 40 million people, if that just say they download this app and they use it for free speech and they can post whatever they want, they can, you know, say whatever they want, they're, 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 I'm going to make money, everybody's going to be happy because we'll have free speech, right? So that was his idea. And so he did it. He made this social media app and lately it's been the number one app. Okay. Now during this time, you guys can see on the initial announcement, this thing really popped. It went from nine dollars all the way up to 175 bucks. It most likely would have continued, but the the SEC has something called circuit breaker halt. So if something goes up so fast, they will actually pause the stock and kind of have it cool down for a little bit. That's kind of what they had. The thing popped up, immediately sold off because it, uh, it was extremely overvalued. Did find some pretty hard support near near here at about $38. Now, remember that number, $38. It hit that $38 mark and slowly was pushing up, right? It hit $100, which established some resistance, right? It hit it and pretty much started selling off back down to that $38 mark, right? It hit it again and slowly has been working its way up. So a lot of people right now are pretty much saying, hey, why should I even buy this? There's better opportunity out elsewhere in the market you know there's other social media platforms that i would rather invest like snapchat facebook twitter all that stuff well dwac the difference between all of them is free speech right trump wanted to have a site that offers free speech now what's crazy is elon musk just purchased twitter to to create this plot to pretty much demonetize Twitter, right? Make it all, um, you know, all free speech. Very, very awesome, right? How social media should be. Now you guys can see that we we've seen a lot of volatility, right? A lot of ups and downs, a lot of consolidation, but really not a lot of growth, right? We had that initial move, but ever since then, it it would be hard to make money. Okay. Now one thing you have to realize is this thirty-eight dollar mark is the the stock's support. So every time this thing has hit that mark. It gets a lot of buying pressure. Okay, so you guys can see it hit it and slowly has been working its way up. So personally, I would set an alert here. You might as well, right? The reason why is because this this is a heavy support. So every time it's hit it, right, we get buying pressure there. So this is the best opportunity to pick up a couple of shares. Okay, not to mention you guys can see we'll actually look at this this by market watch. Um, the, the stock of SPAC, the SPAC, um, buying Truth Social, uh, jumps after Trump post for the first time in months, right? So hopefully what we will have is Trump turning his head away from all of the common social media sites like Facebook, Twitter he's banned from, and a whole bunch of other sites he's banned from. So it would be absolutely amazing if the, he actually started focusing on this one and started posting because he brings in a lot of people. So personally, should you buy this stock? I definitely think that this is a higher risk, higher reward play for sure. But obviously, you know, for me, I definitely think it's worth having. Keep putting in one, 2% of your portfolio into something like this would be worth it. The reason why is because if this thing goes from 50 to 100, you're making 50 bucks. But the, but the beauty of it is if this thing falls down, what you can do is just dollar cost average it. So you just continually invest, right? So if it goes up, you make money. If it falls down back to that $38 mark, buy more of it, right? Get that average cost lower. So once this thing recovers and goes back up to resistance, you're gonna be making a lot of money. 
Now, I understand a lot of people are freaking out, right? The company's not profitable, the company's this, company's that, but at the end of the day, right, they bring in a lot of users. And as a as a startup, as a smaller company, that is key. Uh, they hit a million users way faster than Twitter and Facebook did. So you have to take that and, and understand that there's a lot of growth behind that, but of course, a lot of volatility. Me, I, I have shares, I'm dollar cost averaging it, I'm just letting it ride, right? 2% of my portfolio, if this thing pops up, I'm making money. But if it goes to zero, it's, I'm only out 2% of my portfolio and I can't beat that. So that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, concerns, ask them down below. And we will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, guys. Stay positive. Stay safe out there. Take care.